The Sand Parks helicopters. These helicopters have seen it all. They fly over the massive area that we call Kruger. Over the years on 5050, we've seen them assist vets with darting predators from the air, searching for missing wild dogs, helping with game captures for scientific research, moving orphans out of danger, and I haven't even started listing what they do for anti-poaching efforts. In 2014, American billionaire and philanthropist Howard G. Buffett donated 255 million rand towards beefing up security in Kruger. Sam Parks decided that another one of these workhorses was needed. So, over the next 180 seconds, join me in welcoming the new Buffett helicopter to its home here at Skakuza Airfield. The Kruger National Park first started using helicopters as part of their air wing unit back in the 1960s. It was unimaginable to think that these two helicopters would become so vital in defending the park. In wartime, air superiority wins. And with this in mind, the new Buffett funding was used to purchase a third helicopter where the emphasis is on quick deployment of rangers out into the field of battle. It's indicating our determination to make sure that we deploy all the necessary resources to fight against the poachers. This will assist our rangers to enhance their capabilities to take on the poachers and win against them. What are some of the capabilities of the new machines? It has got night flying vision. It can assist our rangers to respond quickly and effectively, even at night, as they can do during the day. These new technological capabilities are top secret, and the pilots underwent specialized training in America to utilize these advancements. From the outside, the new Buffett helicopter looks identical to existing helicopters. But for Bonnet, something didn't add up. Grant, I get here today expecting three helicopters, and uh, now you have four. Indeed, uh, super, super fantastic for us. About six months ago, we got the, the first helicopter, our third aircraft, uh, delivered to Sand Parks. Then uh, shortly after a visit by Mr. Buffett and uh, his interaction with the aircraft and seeing what the aircraft is involved in, a decision was made and he sponsored another helicopter, making it number four. Why did Sand Parks decide to buy identical helicopters when, to be honest, with the money, the, the Buffett money, you could have bought any helicopter with advanced uh, capabilities? No, that's true. Um, the moment you start changing your aircraft or having different aircraft types in your fleet, it becomes more complex for the crew. You can imagine trying to fly a, a helicopter you're 100% familiar with and it becomes a, a muscle memory almost. You don't even think about flying. It's strapping the helicopter on your back and doing the job. The type of work that we're involved in, it sort of surrounds itself to low level between the trees type of flying. So we stuck with the exact same model that we have currently and we are using currently to mitigate that risk. Sitting inside here, I can just imagine what this beast will see. Hopefully many, many poachers handcuffed back there as well as transporting our rangers to Skukuza safe and sound from a successful contact. Well, that's your Rhino Brief from inside one of the state-of-the-art Buffett helicopters.